uh, yeah hello YouTube this is me Oxab and it's my birthday and two years ago I did a Q&A with Frank and Frank is back with us hello Frank yeah, that is true that is correct <laughs> so we're gonna do another Q&A because it's been two years since last one so that works yeah. usually you want to space them out two years at a time that's the only yeah. way to do it <laughs> And I'm just gonna be working on yeah. this animation while he asks me questions. So go ahead. Sounds good. Um, these are all the questions from y'all that you've posted, uh, and they're great. Uh, so I have the first question here that says, uh, "Will there be a Discord server, or is there a Discord server for Stick Page?" Uh, there is one for Stick Page. I don't know how active it is, but. I mostly hang around in my private server, which I plan on making public eventually. Uh, yeah, because there's like, I've always like wondered about it too, because I was like every once in a while when I hop back on and like wondering where people end up, but I don't know if there is one, I guess. Yeah, but I have one, but there's also the Hian's Dojo one, which is right. the more That's true. active one. So that's where you could find me, but I don't always answer to people that I don't know, sadly. But yeah. That's fair. You got things to do. You're busy. People get busy. That's all good. Yeah. You know? and also just, just the way it is. It's just weird for me to talk with people who are like, hey, Oxab, I love your animations. Uh, can you teach me that and that and that? And, like, <laughs> and you're like, yes, let me make it all the time in the world to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's really cool that people want to get in touch with me, but I, I, it makes me uncomfortable, especially when it's people I have no idea who they are. It's all good. That is all good. Um, I have the, the second question here. It says, I want to make an animation, but there are no free tools to use. RIP ME. OXOB ANSWER ME, in all caps. <laughs> um, it's demanding. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, Alan Baker made a tutorial on all the available free softwares that you can use. And I think one pretty good one, it's like a Photoshop, but a free version. It's called Krita. Oh, okay. Is that is that very new? Is that like, it's been around a while? Uh, I don't know how new it is, but I think it's, I think it's fairly new, but I really have no idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, ju I just tried. That's it cool. Yeah, because it's like very recently. Is it uh, is it for both PC and Mac? I'm assuming. I would assume so. Well, yeah, it's good to know. At most, it's like yeah, I've been using. I've leaned back on Photoshop a little bit every once in a while, mm -hmm. uh, especially for more illustration stuff. But like, yeah, it's no, it's not competition to even animate at this point. Um, Photoshop. So, whatever. It is. Yeah, it's it's no like it's it doesn't even come close to what animate can do. It's just kind of uncomfortable. Do you mean um, for animation or just in general? Animation. Okay. Yeah, for animation. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see the next one. This one says ah, I also haven't been saying the names. Okay, hold on. Let me let me <laughs> backtrack. Okay. Let me just say people uh people want to know who asked what, of course. Uh the first question was from odds. Like I'm gonna butcher them, I'm really sorry, that's on me. Uh, then the second question was from uh, Dubstep Plays. And then the third one that we were about to go to was uh, the feature, I'm assuming. Uh, it says, Oxub, I met you in Brohalla playing core <laughs> in the Hyun Stojo clan. Was it really? Uh, and you left the chat. Also, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was probably me because I main core and I play for the Hyun Stojo server or what do you call it uh, clan so it was there probably me and thank you for wishing me happy birthday what's the true thing yes um everybody in the comments should uh should do that should sing happy birthday to oxa like one person <laughs> does one line of the song then the next person does the other one and like that until the end of eternity um, <laughs> that'd be really nice he really likes that actually so <laughs> he wanted me to tell you to do that <laughs> all right sure go ahead <laughs> sure, I want to see you try. <laughs> yeah, let me see. It would be amazing. Be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah. Let me see. This is question number four. 
It says uh, XX Dark Production. What program you use? Please tell me. Right now I use Adobe Animate, but <clears throat> that's only for the most recent animations. Before I used Flash 8, which is it's crazy how much it's it's kind of changed. Yeah. Yeah. I love Animate because of the big brush sizes. You won't be able to see this, Frank, but I can like go the same size as the screen. Wow. Oh, um, maybe crazy. just crashed anime. Please don't well, break. maybe you can't do that. <laughs> okay, it didn't break. <laughs> just because you can doesn't mean you should. You know? yeah. <laughs> Gives you a lot of power, power. but a lot of responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yep, say yeah. It. Yep, great minds think alike. Um, yeah. We love that. Um, yeah, animate is like packed with so much stuff that you can do, and I honestly don't even know the tip of the iceberg with it, but I think it just allows you to do things so much easier now. Yeah, have you tried um, it? I've, I have it with me, yeah. I use it every once in a while, like sometimes I need to like mock something up and just understand what the motion is going to be, and then just like go from there, basically. Mm, nice. It's like, yeah, there's so much more that you can do with it. It's great. Yeah, I love it. So the question number five um, is from Will Jean B. And it says, how old are you now? I just turned 26. When you asked Excellent. that, I was probably just turned 24. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's crazy. And I am now, and I am now 23. So I'm, I'm heading towards 24. Yeah. Um, old people. Um, age does great things to you. Yeah. We're closer to the grave. We really are. We really are. Uh, each day we are digging a spoonful out of the dirt to dig our own grave, basically. It's great. It feels great. Um, <laughs> feels great. Well, that's just how I think about it. <laughs> Achievements. Let's see. This on this next question says uh, from Naku Berry. It says, Oxub, weren't you in the same clan as Frankie? What happened to him? Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> we don't what, know what happened what to him. What happened um, to Frankie? Come on. It's fine. It's, it's really fun. I was just talking to like a friend yesterday, literally yesterday about this, mm -hmm. where talking about like being in forums like back in the day and like animating and doing stick figure animation and like just realizing that um, at the time it was a lot of people that were there on the forums that eventually started to leave because they were just growing older and kind of moving on and doing other stuff and just like either finding other ways to do the same things or finding other passions that they had yeah um and at, and at the time i was also in the place of like why are these people leaving yeah. where, where do they go <laughs> what happens to them and then slowly i was like oh no i've left forever <laughs> But it's, I'm, I'm fine, you know. I've survived. Yeah. Uh, I'm still. I'm doing a lot more illustration work right now. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm just doing a lot of work sometimes for for magazines and stuff, and I'll do drawings. And occasionally, like I just now, I did a an assignment that had an animated component to it. So like, I still use what I know. It's really helpful uh, to know animation. But yeah, I I I like romanticize the old days a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so he, that's that's what happened. But. Oh, well, did actually, style is still alive, though. You did actually uh, make mm -hmm. a part for an animation that is not yet released. Did? I, I actually watched it recently, and I was like, what happened to it? Like, did I, was it me that didn't finish? Or like, and then no, I mean, I was like, no, I uh, finished my part, so I guess it's still going. Yeah, I mean, you finished. Uh, but then I kind of started focusing on finishing my own project. I have a project mm -hmm. that's done, it just needs music and sound effects. That's uh, pretty great. That's pretty great. Yeah. And also it was hard finding people who would be, you know, committed enough to finish something. So yeah. I put it on hold right. until I finished my bigger project and then I'll try to get back to that and get it finished. I don't want to... That's totally... Yeah. yeah, I never want to throw away a project. Makes a lot of sense. I mean, some things just take a little more time and they'll come back when they need to. Yeah. So yeah, your work was not in vain. 
<laughs> well, no, no, no. I, I love the fact that it's like from the people there. I was like, I'm proud that I finished that part. So yeah. that's still in the making. It'll be there. <laughs> yeah, people are um, gonna be hyped to see you. Be cool. Uh, this one says, uh, speaking maybe on like a segue almost. Uh, this is from Tubby Muffin. We love that. <laughs> um, it says, can you please do another ox of animation, please? I have already. <gasps> that's mm. what's okay. That's what's be having music made for it. Um, sound effects. You're getting it done, huh? You're getting the music done specifically for it. Yeah, I'm having Armor Stick make the music for it. That's awesome. How is he? Is he doing well? Yeah, I mean he's mainly doing music now. Because I remember, yeah, he would do music before too a little bit, like he was doing stuff. Yeah, uh, really cool. He, he has also uh, finished an animation. And I am doing the sounds for that. <laughs> well, that's funny. But that's yeah. honestly, that's very fair. Like, each of you do the sounds for the other. Yeah. I'm like, cool. yeah. like, since he's making the music for me for free, and he was like, I have this project, and I I, I don't want to finish it. I was like, okay, I'll finish right. it for you. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. See, this one is, uh, I love I love the segues. I don't know if you planned these, but like, um, this question is from Zen, and it says, uh, where did you get all those sound effects? Duh, I did not plan that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really great. <laughs> but yeah, uh, sound effects I've usually like collected over the path of many years. Just like, whenever I need a sound effect, I find it, and then I save it forever. And eventually I have like, several packs with different types of sound effects and nowadays okay. I usually ask Yagor a friend of mine who's very passionate about sound effects so like one of those things of like it's not too hard to make like as long as you have some sort of recording device you can try to tweak it there's probably like free software out there that also lets you edit it a little bit in as long as you can get it to sound close to something you might want, it's like good enough. So it'd yeah. be cool to like try to make some, but yeah, it takes time. So yeah, it's another craft, let's say. Yeah, Yegor is really good. I mean, yeah, he doesn't do as much recording, at least not yet, but I think he wants to. But he mainly mm -hmm. like takes different sound effects he finds and he like edits them and mix them around to his own things. That's really smart. I was about to ask, yeah, how he went about it, because that's really interesting. Of like, yeah, you can just grab him and just make a new thing out of it, and it's perfectly fair, I think. Yeah. This question the one says, making, uh, mm -hmm. sounds for my backstory animations. Oh, I just spoiled what it is, but people already know about it. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Whoops! Yeah. Drop that out. That's really cool, though. That's exciting. Yeah, um, it's a backstory for Oxum. Hey, uh, well, we all need to know. Mm -hmm. Next question I have here, it's from uh, Jaden Animates, and it says, tutorial on explosions? Question mark? Uh, I, I feel like there are so many tutorials on explosions already. I mean, I've it's made for yeah. like... Yeah, I know of one, for example, made by Franco. <laughs> Oh, that was like way back. Like, yeah. There's one on my channel. Like I don't even remember what which channel was mine. Hold on. I think it's on your. Sure. I, think it just... I think it's on your real channel. Like your yeah. official animation channel. Just yeah. If if you all like check it out and find it, good for you. You can probably find a yeah. It's called Franco Zacha. It's like Z A C H A, and you can probably find like a really old uh, tutorial on explosions that like. Back in the day, it was it was fun to make, but yeah, there's probably a lot of new ways that people have have to kind of like figure out how to make them and stuff. And it's yeah, and there's a lot of them around, so that's but, that's useful to like looking and stuff. It's cool. But yours has such an interesting style. I've used it a few times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one like a lot of it for that one was I remember either looking at. Um, his name was Michael, and the username was Miku or something or whatever. Yeah, you and mean, he did a lot of like yeah. explosions that were great. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then there was um, I think it was also looking at theories stuff back. Wait, this is all way back in the day of like people animated explosions and stuff and how they broke it down and that stuff. And 
I kind of just borrowed from both of those. Mm -hmm. um, I like yeah. how you no, talk cool. about if you want to cool, yeah. as if it's someone people don't know of anymore, but he's still active. Oh, no. I honestly don't know because I am the one who has disappeared, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> well, I'm I mean, the one who's not here anymore. You know of these, uh, like, uh, uh, story time animators? Like, Domics and those? Yes. Uh, they're still, I guess they're a crew, because I'm assuming, um, what, what was his name? It, it's a lot of people that, yeah, I know that's a lot of people, like, Elboy and stuff, like, I knew were part of, like, a little studio that were working with Domics, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think McCool has also worked for him, and Jom works for him. Um, it was John. Yeah, John was the name. Yeah, yeah. John is the one that I remember most. Mm -hmm. And I can sometimes spot it when they animate stuff, and I'm like, oh, that would be, you know, that's probably John or yeah. or Elboy or something. And he also worked for like Jaden and those animators. Well, I love how that kind of has panned out and how they've become little careers almost and being able to do that freelance work yeah. as animators. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, question number ten. Um, from Zach Schmitz, um, is Zia going to be one a one-time animation character, or are we going to see, or are we going to see more of her in the future? Uh, yes, you will see more of her. Have you seen that animation? I don't know if I have. It's just a short uh, practice animation that I made. That's cool. It's how long ago did you post that? Uh, one or two years ago. Yeah, I need to check that out. I might have seen it, and I'm just like blanking out on it. But like, that's cool. Mm -hmm. It's just a uh, like a few seconds, but it's a does she, mm -hmm. it's a new character. So awesome! And does she have like what powers does she have? What she, does she has a, a staff, like a steel pipe sort of. And just sure. that I love. That. It's it's a little bit like Oxop too, in that it's also steel something for like you know, <laughs> yeah. love really strong something i love that i mean that's really cool mm -hmm. yeah and she's just very good at fighting with it <laughs> but we love her um this question 11 from hero bro gaming um says make something longer like movie or episodes um <laughs> okay. this summer <laughs> you know yeah. great uh, I mean, I would if I could do this full time and I knew I would get paid for it, like, enough to survive doing nothing but that. But I don't. I need a job. I don't know if this still happens. Like, do you remember, like, when Phil was doing all the, the shorts for League of Legends and stuff? Yeah. The Summoner Showdown. Is that still a thing? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Is that a thing that like changed? Like, did they do something different? Did they drop that? Like, what happened to that? I don't know. I don't. I don't think he makes those anymore. I've seen uh, um, uh, Phil works for Alan a lot. Oh, uh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he works for others as well, because I, from what I've heard, Phil like rarely comes out of his room. He's just working all the time. I bet. I mean. Very talented guy. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what he um, what he's working on other than the stuff for Alan. Maybe he's making something massive. <laughs> Another four day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I have no idea. Yeah. Who knows? It's one of those things like occasionally okay, wonder, but like it's it's true that it's like in order to be able to do like stuff that is longer, like movies and episodes. Not only do they take a lot of time. But nowadays, like when you start needing funds to be able to do it, it's like um, you it takes a lot of time. It's a big commitment. Um, however, would you ever consider um, this is something that just came to mind because I was trying to start another project on my own. And it, would you ever consider doing some sort of Kickstarter patron setup where you pitch like a trailer? And then from that, if people chip in enough, you would be willing to make it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I would, if I have the talent to make something big production value. Uh, you know what I mean? Mm, okay, okay, okay. Um, we all beg to differ. Uh, <laughs> we all think you're great. 
No, but um, I like. I feel like mm-hmm. I'm good at what I do, but when it comes to like storytelling and that stuff, I feel like I. I'm not very. I'm I'm lacking in that part. So therefore, I feel That's like I'm you. better at like. I could be the in betweener, or I could make the special effects or the action scenes. But when it comes to mm-hmm. like making a series or something like that you need to be a good storyteller so if i were to do that i would have to cooperate with someone be cool too it's a, it's definitely like a room for for collabing i'm sure yeah. um being able to do something else speaking of that cool. have you seen uh gilded guy stuff yes yes you, you show me consistently we love it mm-hmm. it's great did you see the trailer he did for gilded guy versus oxob yeah. Oh yeah. That was heavy. That was good. Mm-hmm. When is that gonna drop? Uh, February. Oof, it's going up. It's gonna be great. Mm-hmm. And my animation is gonna play out before his animation. It's the same storyline. Oh, that's really cool. That's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah that's super exciting. Uh, be on the lookout for that. It's great. Yeah. Great. have oh, oh i love this one um this is from ivan Gueco, and it says hello mr oxub can you make some oxub which is umbrella please oxub i'm really fan of you notice me <laughs> well okay. you've been oh. noticed uh, <laughs> you've been noticed very much yeah uh but yeah i am making stuff it's just taking a long time the oxub animation will be released uh hopefully now in December, but if not, probably January. But at least I aim to soon. release it before Gilded Guys animation. Exciting, yeah. Cause like it does take a long time, and just being at the stage where you can just worry about sound or something else, and like just go from there. Mm-hmm. Um, it, yeah, everything is smooth sailing after that. But it's tricky. It takes so much time. Yeah, and also having someone else do the music for you. I hope it turns out the right way the first like when he makes it that I like the first result and that he doesn't have to add edit it much. Do you do you usually get to hear like a sample of what he's thinking? Like how does that process go? Uh well he has started now in December and I haven't gotten uh, a sample yet. Good. That's all good, yeah. But I won't it, it's hard. Yeah, I I've asked him for a sample and he hasn't got back to me yet. We have faith. Yes. Have faith. By the way, if you don't know who Armor Stick oh. is, he is a former animator, no music uh, creator, and he made the music for Firewall Brawl that I released like two years ago. Fantastic! Like both his animation stuff and music stuff. Like, yeah, you go, you go, man. That's yeah. great next question that I have question 13 is from uh, Vic animations it says wow exclamation mark exclamation mark <laughs> can you tell me how you kept the background fixed even after using vcom in meet next please uh, yeah uh, I had help from shuriken 255 if you know who that is he made a script that keeps the background fixed It's like, is it fixed in relation to the to the VCAM as it goes around? Yeah, I mean, you can see the entire background and it moves along with the VCAM, so it looks like it's very far off in the distance. Oh, like a, like a parallax yeah, effect. Yeah, exactly. Kind of That's really cool. Did you That's see the so, so mix cool. animation? Like, seen like a couple of that. Like, I've seen you use that before. That I don't know if in the past it was the same script or it was like another way that you were going about it, but like, I can't imagine. But I mean the Nyx animation that he talks about, the question. I don't think I've seen that specifically. I have to see. I'll have to maybe just check and see if I might have seen it in the past, but I'm not sure. Yeah, you might have. This question I have is from, unfortunately, I don't read this alphabet, but that's okay. (laughs) Uh, My apologies, that's on me. Probably, probably Russian. Uh, You could probably read it better if you want. Uh, I don't Um, read Russian. But it's... Oh well, <laughs> so that makes two. Yeah. Um, wonderful person, 
asks, uh, what is your rank in Brawlhalla? Oh yeah, uh, I'm gold. I, I'm not good enough to reach platinum. I'm a pleb. But you're gold. I'm what? I want to see, uh, but it's, it's gold, like the championship you just won, you know? Oh yeah, the championship. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm better at other things than Brawlhalla. <laughs> like, we love that. Um, yeah. This is from uh, from Demon XXX one four five XXX. I love it. Um, and the question is: So you got new legs, dude? Do they have special powers? Uh, yeah, I mean the legs are more like what would, what would you call them? Like boots, leg supports sort of and mm -hmm. they have similar powers to what his hands have it's like electricity extra power and he can like use them for dashing usual <laughs> huh the, the, like usually what you what you feel when you get new boots you yeah know? <laughs> it's just new boots it's new boots basically but like you know you can kick stuff harder. Yeah. <laughs> this is a question number sixteen from Zara with a with an X. It says, "Would you be able to do a tutorial of how you made the um, pixelated effect for virus?" I'm really intrigued by it. Oh yeah, that one. Uh, I use the pixel tool. Uh, do I have it in Animate? Yes, I do. It's this thing. I'm gonna show it, and Frank won't be able to see it. But I don't know. We'll trust you. Yeah, <laughs> trust me. I will just pretend it. that I'm seeing it. Like, oh wow, oh cool. Yeah, do you see this? I can make pixels. Really? I I hear you. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I used that, and then I just animated it, sort of. <laughs> yeah, cause I, I remember like in. I remember Flash 8 that at least what I had heard before, like there was no pixel tool, like it was just like a plugin maybe that you could use. But it's the same thing in it. Animate. It's a plugin. But in you had to install it separately and have it in, or was it, did it come with the software? No, you need to you need to figure out where to find it and then install it. Mm. And mm. I had, okay. Uh, that's the th the same th uh, thing I use when I work for Alan Becker on his Minecraft animations. We use the pixel tool for drawing out the blocks. It saves a lot of time. Sure, probably yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I I thought that that was something that oh they just added it now like that's really nice but yes not. Yeah, the pixel tool is super handy for that. Is it something that they can just like Google and like find, or do you have to go somewhere particular? <clears throat> uh, it used to be on Newgrounds. Uh, like really easy to find and then it can it got uh, uninstalled for me for whatever reason and I could not for the life of me find it again so I needed Alan to help me get it back gotcha so gotcha I think it's pretty oh, yeah. hard to find now ask a friend phone a friend you know yeah somebody might have it this next question is question 17 from Shuriken two five five. Oh, it's Shuriken. Um, yep, we love him. Uh, it says so. Hammer Todd is stronger than Oxub. Uh, strength wise, yes. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's a lot. Um, yeah. I mean, see, you see just, that hammer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like weightless right. to him. I guess so. Um, you created a monster, basically. Yes. <laughs> you, you, you created your hero's own enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. The, the next question that I have is from, um, it's called Exus, I'm assuming, but with a three instead of one of the E's. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, is Oxo part of the Nemesis? No, he's not. But he gets the legs from Nemesis. Uh, the you know how I made a cliffhanger on my last RG battle with him like mm -hmm. doing work for Nemesis. 
I have not planned that out yet, and it, the <laughs> the thought was for Camilla to like figure something out, like how I would help them finish the collab, sort of. But you know, Nemesis isn't really a thing anymore. Uh, Camilla doesn't do stick figures anymore. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably uh, I'll end up making something of my own to like finish that storyline. But I don't know what to do yet. What is she up to now? Do you know? She makes Undertale animations. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen oh. any of them? I don't think I have. I think I have. I mean, she is it. super ambitious. Like, uh, it's crazy. I mean, I'm not yeah, really even that. Her older stuff was... Yeah, I'm not really that into Undertale, but the yeah, you gotta admire all the work she puts into that. Honestly, yeah, I'm not too familiar with it either, but I've heard it's great, and like I can see people getting really into it. Yeah, I mean, I know the story um, and whatnot. I watched Let's Plays, but I didn't play it for myself. But I know what the game is. I have a. Uh, this is the last question. This is question nineteen. Mm-hmm. I the fact that it ends on an odd number. I don't know how to feel about it. But okay. <laughs> um, uh, the last question comes from uh, Gacha Batin, I'm assuming. It just says, how to make face? Question mark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one. How do I answer this? Help me, Frank. Oh, oh, you just make the face. Um, <laughs> you draw the face. You stop whatever you're doing, and you draw the face. And you teach them how to make the face. I'm going to draw the face. I draw two eyes. I draw a nose. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. I draw a mouth. And I draw ears. And I draw hair. So this whole Q&A should be called How to Make Face. Yes. <laughs> what it was the title called. of the video, How to Make Face. The title and the thumbnail is just this. Uh, how to Make Face. <laughs> Beautiful. Wait, uh, so yeah, that's good. the end of the questions. Unless you have any questions yourself, Frank. Um. You know, it's it's been. I was just telling you before this that it was like it's been a minute since we've talked. But just recently, I was like at home, and I was just like thinking, like, man, those were good years. This was a good time. Yeah. And uh, and you've been you were around for it for a lot of it, and it was great. Um, mm-hmm. And I don't know, like, because I've I've caught up a little bit in terms of like what you're up to and everything, and like, I guess it's like yeah, if there's any other projects that you're looking forward to do or anything that you've been like craving to do in terms of animation or things you would like to, you know, accomplish at some point with it, or... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten inspired by, as you know, these bigger animators that I've been more involved with lately, like uh, Alan Becker and Gilly Guy and whatnot. Right. And it would be cool to just, you know, work together with uh, you know, these other big animators and maybe create something even bigger. I mean, I already make big stuff with Alan, even though I just take, I do a small part. I do in between some whatnot. But it they're, be, yeah, but they're big projects. Yeah. Yeah, but it would be cool to like make something huge with the characters that uh, the Hyans Dojo community have created. I mean, even since Fluid Animes and Stick Page and now Hyans Dojo, it would be cool to make something with like the RHG universe. Honestly, it's it's always like a big, like an interesting channel because it, because um, I always thought that that idea of just the the RHGs, the rock hard gladiators, and then all that you know, that evolution of that, um, mm-hmm. and how it's such a good idea. It's just so entertaining, and so engaging, and for people that are doing like either stick figure animation or just animation in general, it's a very um, exciting prospect to be able to say like, hey, I'm gonna do this animation, but I'll you know, compete with someone about it and you can have full on like competitions of it. Um yeah. and just seeing how they can kind of evolve and maybe become like either how do you even push it to make it bigger or how to expand to reach other people. Yeah. I think that's really fun. I mean, I hope there's, you know, something pops up that kind of promotes that because to this day it's like that's one of the most fun I've had just like, yeah, trying to create characters and stuff and then like I went through at least like ten characters just because <laughs> yeah. it would be fun to make them. Um and you're just able to like put them out there and like compete with people. It's awesome. It's really yeah. really cool. 
I feel like Gilder guy is actually really building on this now with his battles like bringing back some of the uh, famous characters from the past and the present like giving like if you've seen what Gilda guy is making right now he's fleshing out the character of Oxab so much more than I ever could and it's like <laughs> so, it's so awesome to see like now Oxab is such an interesting character um, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Like this is been, this is becoming like the Marvel universe almost. I love it. I, I love it. Yeah. I mean, you're not you're not wrong at all. I think that's like an interesting way to look at it. That it, every single character is it's kind of like a hero. Yeah. You know, it kind of has its backstory. Like you were saying, you know, but like it's interesting. Yeah, how they can grow and kind of become a thing, and it becomes more of a, almost watching a series a little bit, and then having to keep up with like it would be cool. You know, it would be cool one thing that i'm thinking that it's more for the people that are jumping in or getting acquainted with all of it and all the process mm -hmm. is if there was a way to be able to watch kind of it, depending on how involved these battles get and how involved the characters get with each other to see how uh, for example like a playlist of all the videos and everything that you can kind of follow the timeline of the characters and kind of understand what this universe entails because i think a lot of it right now maybe works more of a into like let's say like uh hero superhero comic strips where you know some of the additions early on might have been more like episodical like yeah. oh this character fighting this villain or this character fighting this villain but then you kind of start fleshing it out like you're the guys doing like to be able to say like oh this is this is actually a universe where everyone is kind of like related yeah. and you understand the relationships between them like i think that's kind of like a cool you know moment to push towards some thing to push towards that takes it away from just a a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing yeah i mean back in the day i was always just like uh, i just want to watch the uh, like i want to make action fighting exciting to watch for the moment but the more i've gone into this the more i'm like man i love these characters i want to dig deeper it's uh i want this to be something big <laughs> It's just, it's interesting, yeah, and then getting to know your own character and kind of like, what are they about and, you know, what are they after and they become something beyond just like the animation side of it, which yeah. is really fun. Indeed. That's cool. That's great. I'm going to look forward to that. I'm going to look forward to, uh, you know, then and then you can have the movies because yeah. at that point it's like, oh, the whole universe and then you can get to the movies and it would be like Marvel, but with animation, Yeah. you know? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's got to start somewhere. Eventually, it might turn into something huge. That's true. All right, we've been going on for 38 minutes. Great. I love it. <laughs> Maybe we should... <laughs> we've done good. We should wrap this up, I think. That's and, good. That's yeah. Good to me. Thank you, Frank, for joining me again for my birthday. Thank you for having me. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you, and thanks to all of you for watching a 38 Q&A video. Th 38 minutes, I mean. <laughs> Hope <y 'all laughs> it's enjoy. probably the best video you've ever seen, so it's fine. Yeah. So we'll see if maybe you'll return next year as well. This is turning into a tradition. Love it. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Take care. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs>